two. Today is the, I believe it's the 17th. Let me check here. Yeah, January 17th, 2018. Getting a little snow this morning. Nothing too significant. It's gonna be a little dusting. I'm headed to a horticultural expo and pesticide conference. Um, going there because watch some uh, lectures and seminars to get my pesticide credits. Uh, we get the pesticide credits so I can have my pesticide license and fertilize because without the license not supposed to be fertilizing but we all know people do it out there but I try to do the right thing I don't want to get busted and pay the fine but it's going to be the uh, two-day event and they're going to have uh, people there showing off different products you know in between the seminars you can get up and go check out the little expo they have snow plows there uh, sod companies mower companies um, Probably even have stuff there for salt spreaders, maybe some heavy equipment. It changes every year, but uh, I think it's a good event. You know, Delaware puts on, or they try to put forth a, a good seminar, keep everybody interested, um, not falling asleep because you know you sit there. For a long period of time, I start, you know, getting heavy, your head starts bobbing. I really don't understand how people could do that in companies. I sit there in a meeting all day. I can't do that. So, uh, I'll start this back up when we get there. Look how wide this joker is. I think they said it was like a 40 inch. Because if it took that off, and they're hydraulic driven, no chain driven on the tines. This company used to be like Lawn Solutions and was bought out by Toro. And after the patents were up, the guy that designed the lawn solutions decided to uh, fix everything he didn't like on his old models and came out with a new company and stinger i really like them i like this uh, walk behind here She's pretty beast be nice to get in between uh the gates you know got the dingo wide track got your hydraulic connectors there quick 
disconnect vertical lift can't really see the adjustments here come over here put my ass on this uh, ice got the vent track with the, the mower in the front got some hydraulics for something got some weights on the back <sighs> all-wheel drive articulating tractor here's the one over here I think it's got this I don't know what this is Must be like a bush hog. Got the four tires. Okay. Old Man Hill. Got some hydraulics here. Look, got the you can add attachments back here. It's pretty nice. This is a 4500Z. Got your <coughs> diesel. Here's your uh, X Mark 30 aerator. It's got a pretty nice platform on it. It's got your key PSI pretty nice that's all they got sitting here outside let's go back over here <coughs> like this Toro Dingo. I want to check out the Bobcat. But here you go guys. I'm glad they had this. It's nice to take a look at. Well this has been uh, Stan from Changing Seasons. Hope you like that little bit of uh, machinery I showed you and uh, I'll check you out next time. Later. Alright guys that is Day one down, January 17th, Wednesday. It was uh, a good uh, seminar, had a lot of uh, good information. There was some information about ponds and aeration. There was uh, talk about uh, spotted fly. It's invasive, talked about coarse bee pollination. A lot of different type of plants and alternatives. Got to talk to a lot of vendors. Uh, had Versatrack, had uh, uh, X Mark there, had Stinger aerators, and uh, that was interested. I got to ride on some of those. Uh, talk to the guys. Uh, what else was there? There was. Um, I talked to a lot of people, talked to a lot of uh, pesticide companies, um, some fertilizer company, uh, anything fertilizer company. Uh, yeah, I talked I talk to some snow plow people. They also do uh, trailer work, as in for um, do electric brakes to check check that, make sure everything is good with my electric brakes on my trailer 
uh, there was actually some people there do uh, not gutter installations but you know how leaf debris gets in there some type of guard um, talk to them uh, there is another company oh man I'm gonna have to do a little update when I get home but it's to, to stake in trees but it had uh, bands um, kind of like you strap down your equipment with but it had these little spikes that you you know pound down into the ground two feet you've got the strap um, they're not supposed to stretch out when they get wet um, it, like you get three of them for $13 so you figure you got those uh, wood stakes and you got the wire and stuff like that you're gonna probably spend somewhere about the same but these aren't going to uh, get loose or break and you have to go back out there for maintenance so a lot, a lot of good stuff um, take a look at I, I uh, talked to people about parts for my um, permagreen ultra and talked about my uh, LT bridge sprayer so a lot of, lot of stuff a lot of information guys that's day number two had of uh had a lot of good information in this class uh had a nice uh i guess seminar on tick related illnesses man you can't believe how many diseases are possibly linked to ticks so landscapers out there look it up because a lot of diseases now are being linked back to ticks that could possibly you know create this Ill different illnesses in you that you're being treated with and no nobody doctor wise want to to even look at Lyme disease or anything you know that a tick could possibly give you I'm sure it has to do with uh, insurance reasons and things like that but um, of course it's more about pollinators and things like that uh, lots and lots of good good information in this one talked to a lot of vendors again and uh, I said getting parts for my permagreen uh, some of you might not be be happy because everybody's asking me for um, reviews on the uh, hustler super s and I've come to not care too much for it um, so I'm thinking about possibly uh, trading it in to get another X mark vantage um, just have to see what the numbers are going to be and things like that um, like I said it was a really good day a lot, lot of great information and, and the place was packed this time it was like 350 people I think um, so the Delaware crew did a great job on putting this uh, these seminars together getting speakers in and the vendors you know I think they had a couple of different vendors today compared to yesterday so looking to get some uh, privacy um, hedges from uh, John Wicks nursery and good day so 
I know I didn't get a lot of like oh well, I didn't get any footage of the seminar itself because I didn't really think might be interested in that but it uh I didn't take a video of the the vendors either because a lot of people don't want to be um, videoed but you know I also feel a little little crazy uh, walking through still I'm not too comfortable on carrying a camera through but I'm sure I'll I'll get over that um, I guess sometimes you just gotta say what the hell doing my own thing so thanks for watching um, if you like it give it a thumbs up and share comment uh, give me any ideas of what I could possibly do better I would you know definitely take it into consideration because you know everything I do is not always completely correct so I'm always looking to improve so thanks again for watching change the seasons landscape and see you next time